Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a face of someone onto the gnarly bark of century-old trees. I provided this tree document so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. Open a photo of someone you'd like to place on the tree. We need to desaturate its color, so if your photo is in color, press Control shift u on a PC or Command shift u on a Mac to desaturate it. To get it into our tree document, press V to call up your move tool and drag it onto the tab of the tree document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the tree and then release. If you need to resize your photo, press Control or Command T to open your transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Control or Command Zero. Go to a corner, and when you see a straight double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC, or Shift and Option on a Mac, and drag it in. Fit your document back on your screen. When you have it in position, press Enter or Return. To make the darkest tones black and the lightest tones white, press Ctrl-Alt-L on a PC, or Command-Option-L on a Mac for auto levels. Open your brush tool and choose a medium-sized brush, 0% hardness and 100% opacity. Make sure your foreground and background colors are black and white respectively. If they're not, click the small double box icon or press D on your keyboard. Click the Quick Mask button and draw around the face or figure. When you've filled it with the Quick Mask, press Q to make it into a selection. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy it onto its own layer. Click off the eyeballs of both layers. We'll wrap the texture of the bark around the face with the displacement filter. Make a copy of the tree trunk and go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by two pixels. Go to Layer and Duplicate Layer. Choose New and type in Displacement. Click OK or press Enter or Return. Close the tab of the Displacement document and click Yes to save it. Let's save it to the desktop since that's the quickest way to find it. Click Save and click OK. We can now drag the blurred tree to the trash since we don't need it anymore. Make your top layer visible and active. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. We'll make the horizontal and vertical scales 10, the displacement map stretch to fit, and repeat edge pixels. Click on the displacement map PSD file and click Open. Immediately the box tonal values displace the image of the photo. Make a copy of the displaced photo and make the blend mode multiply. Double click on the layer to open its layer styles. Choose color overlay and click on the color box. I'll type in 736D69. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Make the layer below it active and change its blend mode to overlay. Make the opacity 20 percent. I'd like to fine-tune the brightness and contrast so I'll make the top layer active, click on the adjustment layer button, and choose curves. Click on the Clip to Layer icon to make the adjustment layer clip to the one layer beneath it. In the Curves window, the lower left corner represents the darkest tones of the layer, and the upper right corner represents the lightest tones. By clicking and dragging a point of the line up or down, it makes that particular tone either lighter or darker. Experiment with it to get just the right values for your image. Have fun camouflaging someone you know onto the bark of century-old tree trunks. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.